sa Diyos tayo'y tumawa sa ating mga kaaway tayo ay kanyang iniligtas purihin ang Panginoon umawit ng kagalakan at uglutin ang at ang kaayayang lira Iba ninyo ang trompeta We are gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be always with you and with your spirit. Today, we take once again the voted Mass in time of pandemic. And in this Mass, we pray especially for the late Dr. Myrna Valera, who died last Saturday. She was the guidance counselor of the major seminary in Vigan, and for the late Julian Napil. We enter into the celebration mindful that we are sinners. So once again, we humbly ask for God's pardon and mercy for the many sins that we have committed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress and faith, we pray. Look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, Peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord cried loud for me to hear, Come, you scourges of the city. With that, I saw six men coming from the direction of the upper gate which faces the north, each with a destroying weapon in his hand. In their midst was a man dressed in linen, with a writer's case at his waist. They entered and stood beside the bronze altar. Then he called to the man dressed in linen, with a writer's case at his waist, saying to him, Pass through the city, to Jerusalem, and mark a thaw on the foreheads of those who moan and groan over all the abominations that are practiced within it. To the others I heard the Lord say, Pass through the city after him and strike. Do not look on them with pity, nor show any mercy. Old men, youths and maidens, 
women, and children. Wipe them out. But do not touch any mark with a thaw. Begin at my sanctuary. So they began with men, the elders who were in front of the temple. Defile the temple, he said to them, and fill the courts with the slain. Then go out and strike in the city. Then the glory of the Lord left the threshold of the temple and rested upon the cherubim. These lifted their wings, and I saw them rise from the earth, the wheels rising along with them. They stood at the entrance of the eastern gate of the Lord's house, and the glory of the God of Israel was up above them. Then the cherubim lifted their wings, and the wheels went along with them, while up above them was the glory of the God of Israel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above, above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is His glory. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Let us honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two other along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sanctification 
human maturity, personal development, they always occur in the context of being with other people. Nobody can grow, can mature, can be a saint alone. It is always in the context of interpersonal relationships. We are live in a community. We belong to a church. We belong to the world that we call humanity. And interactions frequently can be difficult. In the gospel reading for today, we hear how we can grow together, how we can uh, accompany each other. In the gospel, it is from the perspective of calling one's attention, calling the attention of the other if that person has committed a wrong. It is not an, a legal approach, but rather uh, a fraternal, a communal approach of trying to gather together as one. When we call the attention of a person because that person has wronged somebody, has wronged the community, the gospel prescribes, Jesus tells us, that we have to do that with love. But first, we have to do it. Second, we have to really uh, uh, express that correction in the context of concern of love. Justice spoken in love will be uh, helpful. Hopefully, it will improve the comportment or the behavior or the thinking of the other person who was mistaken. Oftentimes, because probably of our family upbringing, our immediate reaction becomes very impulsive. We want to correct someone. And we don't really reflect. We don't really come from the perspective of being one with the Father who wants to, to, to correct his creatures. Fraternal correction, calling the attention of someone should not be, although it might be painful, it should not be a pain coming from our perspective. So when we do that, we have to do it from a prayerful stance. Prayerful stance means our words, our thinking, our behaving should come from our deep union with the Father who is always concerned with each one of us. This is already the context of the last part of the gospel where we come together as one in prayer. Again, spiritual growth, human maturation, personal development always happens in the context of a community. We cannot grow, we cannot develop alone. Otherwise, we will always be selfish. And it requires constant interaction and oftentimes, as we interact, we offend, we hurt someone. We violate a law. But for us who saw that, the other person committing that, we should not run after that person with a hammer or whatever, but rather with love, calling the attention of that person who was in error in order to educate him, to lead him to the Father. So today we ask for that grace that we, if we notice someone has wronged us or wronged the community, we should pray to the Father to give us again that grace, that perspective, that understanding, that compassion that would enable us to correct, to call the attention of the other. We ask God the Father to open our eyes so that 
when we follow him wholeheartedly. Our response, Father, fill us with your light. Father, fill us with your light. That the members of the church may be drawn close together, living in peace and harmony, we pray. Father, Father fill, fill us with your light. That leaders of nations may respect the rights of every person and avoid repression and atrocities, we pray. Father, fill us with your light. That we may have the courage to speak with truth, with love, and accept criticisms graciously, we pray. Father, Father fill, fill us with, with your light. That the sick, the aged, and the housebound may see God's comfort and consolation in the compassion of those who care for them, we pray. Father, Father fill us with your light. That the dead may be cleansed and prepared for eternal unity with Christ, we pray. Father, fill us with your light. For our frontline healthcare workers, volunteers, and other essential workers, that God may cover them with his mantle of protection, sustain them, and give them the strength as they perform their respective duties, and may they have enough medical provisions to use for everyone who needs cure, we pray. Father, fill us with your light. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Father, fill us with your light. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ, your Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power 
a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of us, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all, of, and all of who have died in your mercy. Welcome them 
into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Arnold and Joseph, Blessed Maria Helena and Josepha, and all the speedy martyrs, and all the saints who have preached you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We address once again our Father using the words of Jesus, and we ask him for the grace to be able to grow together, and we pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me for the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of your eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Join us in praying the Horatio Imperata. God our Father, we, we come, come to you in our need to ask your protection against, against the COVID-19 that has disturbed disturb and even claimed lives. We pray that, that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease, disease and to stem its transmission. Protect, protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with competence and, and compassion. compassion. We, we pray, pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saint Arnold Johnson, Joseph Fernandez. Pray for us. Announcement. The following will be the updated schedule of our devotions integrated in the 6 p.m. Masses. Monday, 6 p.m., the devotion to the Holy Spirit. Tuesday, 6 p.m., the devotion to Christ the King. Wednesday, 6 p.m., the devotion to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Thursday, 6 p.m., the devotion to St. Jude the Deus. Friday, 6 p.m., the devotion to the Sacred Heart. Saturday, 5.45 p.m., the devotion to Jesus, the Divine Word. If you wish to offer your intentions in our daily Masses, fill out the form at bit.ly slash shrine intentions or email us at shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word at gmail.com. Other announcements regarding our liturgical services are posted in the Shrine's Facebook page. Help us sustain our online liturgical services. You may send your love offering through the following accounts. RCBC, GCash, and PayMaya. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow to receive the blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.